What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be looking at some of my old work, some of my sketchbooks, some of my black books, um, I guess you could say. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. But I have some good news. I got into the Spectacular Black Girl Art Show in Mobile, Atlanta, the 7th, um, excuse me, not the 7th, the 8th and the 9th of March. So stop it. Get some help. And of course, I'm going to vlog it so you can see. And I have some, some of my pieces there. Most likely this will be in there. Let me see what else I can find in this room. Not this. This is just for me. Uh, maybe this. But, you know, I'm going to go look through my catalog of things and see, you know, what I want to put in there. I did this on the channel. If you haven't seen it, that video, go check it out. I also did this. I did this a while ago. So go check that out as well. And I might switch this up and... You know, put some more paint on it, put a little razzle dazzle on it, and then put that in the show as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we go. So, this is probably something I had in high school. I used to have like um, a sketchbook, but I believe it came apart, so I ended up putting everything in like this little portfolio book. So, I'm just practicing my ABC, some graffiti style lettering. It appears in my work a lot. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one is nice. Let me see. This is the one I'm really trying to show you, but that's nice. Um, I think it says air, and I really was just practicing, you know, my graffiti lettering. Luna, that's what you say, used to call me in high school. You know, more air. I did all these in gel pen, which is really crazy. I had a lot of time on my hands and probably was not paying no type of attention in class. But, you know, I got some good, some good artwork from it. I really like the colors on that too. Uh, and some more lettering. Jack. That's a nice style and I might need to try that again. Oh, this one's nice. I lo really love the drips and the colors on this Jack. Jack, Jack, I like the pink, but it's crazy how I just use only gel pens for this. Oh, I have had a lot of time on my hands on this one. Just practicing the letter A, first letter of my name, with some bubbles, which is really cool. Then another A. I love the orange and red. Uh, I think I probably used the color to kind of help me come up with some of these color combinations which is really good. Let's one more look at that. And that again. Oh, that eye is nice. You got a arrow also in here also with a spray cap. So that's tight. Then also my name high school name nickname that they gave to me for whatever reason more alphabet is practicing that and just practicing some of the things that i you know learned or you know that i learned uh by hand like doing these alphabets i tried to then combine them and put them into here i never collect this one i wonder what year these are from they're from high school they're probably from Oh goodness, probably somewhere between 05 to 09, maybe a little after. Um, more alphabet than with my uh, name. Same here. And then let's see what this dream believe achieve. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, do that. That pencil looks like. Maybe I pick up some of these and put them back into my work now. Ooh, that would be a good one to turn digital. ADV. My name. That's practicing again here. I see you. That's cool. I have no idea what my thought process was when doing these. Hmm. Maybe I was trying to say dead real with the skulls. Very simple. Then we have love. If you all can read graffiti, like when you sit on the street, you know, comment below, or is it hard for you to read? Nah, that's not my name. Probably less like a little. Oh, I found the year. 
2013. 13 and this one as well. So that's cool. That's like I actually think I like this book better than my um sketchbook. It makes it, everything look nice and neat. Oh, oh this is cool. I put my tag name or whatever. When and then I put it, put it actually put it in the the piece. And something I was practicing here. I believe one of my classmates drew in my sketchbook. I didn't draw this and then I just tagged and I tagged here. But he he took my my book and drew in it. I believe she wrote you this. We went to high school together. So he has a, a art page too. So if you stumble on mine, and you probably already probably found him first, but we went to school together and we used to be in art class together. So there's a fun fact. Um here's Die Hard. Probably just practicing the style. I think um actually she wrote he introduced me to like this graffiti style type thing. It's more I think he might have did this one too. You can tell by hand like by the hand that did it. Let me see. Beats by Dre. I think Beats was real big back then. They had just like just just came out. So I did this and I just stuck the beat sticker there. Like an explosion. And then I also was just trying to mimic and practice pen shading. A lot of some people can draw with pen and blend it really well, but here, I mean I think it looks okay, but it's not the best. Um, this one it says Ball Till I Fall. I think I did this actually. I was on the way to a game. We had a like uh, a road trip game. I played basketball in college and we were on our way to the game and I drew this while we were on the bus traveling from state to state. And then it's just practicing more on like perspective. I think it, it really just says, ah, <laughs> doesn't say anything. I don't know what I was gonna do here. This might be the end of this one. Oh no, there's more. Then just some more pencil work. Like it says faith. And I believe it's only live once. Of this leg. Oh, I think this is something me and my little sister came up with. We were trying to make our own t-shirt line. Didn't really go anywhere, but that's that. Um, this was like another doodle turned drawing. Let me see what's in here. A uh, hoop star, because I play basketball, some music, paintbrush, Nike. Oh, there's a little person shooting the J out there. With a laugh now, cry later mask. Let's zoom in so you can see better. Let's focus, focus, okay. We got, I think, Luna. Oh, some of my classmates' name. names. Love coming through the wall. Oh, this is dope. Got this dude <laughs> eating the bricks from the wall. That's crazy. I got a little airplane flying around him. Three stars. Got the jack that was in the front of the book. And let's see. We got gotta listen to some music. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Got maybe some evilness taking over the city. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, oh, you got the flames, but you know. Sunshine always comes after the rain. Maybe that's what I was going for. That's cool. Then it's all going into, you know, this hand spray pen and shooting all of this out. Mm, then we got you know, hard. I think I was working on this for someone and I never finished it. Oh, then we got some tattoo drawings that I did. There are a couple people in this world walking around with, with these designs on them. Let's see what this one said. Oh, this is Hope. I don't think anyone actually got this. I think I just had a loose leaf sheet of paper and then um, I, you know, I was just doodling. 
Then I came, I saw a conquer. This one, someone got this one, I'm sure. That's cool. Another one. J A. I think the same person got this. So I think they got this. This might have been like a chess piece that they wanted to show. And then I think this one on their, their arm. That's cool. Shading is a little off, but you know, you live and learn. And then I'm not gonna show y'all that picture that's under there. That's what I used to look like in high school. Oh, and then I think I did this for one of my teammates. This is Candy and Bill. I think this was for like uh, in memory of their grandmother. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, there's still more. I thought, you know, I thought this was gonna be a short video, but it's not. And here's like one of the last pages in the book. It says air. I think uh, Chi Chi was trying to teach me, um, you know, like graffiti. And I was asking him about graffiti and all that stuff. He was just really just something you just have fun with it. So this is what he did. And I think I came down here and then he added, or I added, one of us added this. And I did, I'm sure I did this one. But you can tell the difference in our style in our hand too. You can tell that with any artist really. And the last one. Guess what? Let me see. Uh, no feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sonic, you can't see his feet. You get it when he runs. So you got no feet. I think that's it for this one. Yeah, some pages that I didn't have. But that's that. Let me see, my favorite page out of this whole book, is probably this one, because the colors. I really like this one. And then, let me see, let me see. Favorite one, favorite one, favorite one. Yeah, I'm gonna say this, this page, because of the colors, really solid. I took my time on this, I can remember doing this. And I think I like this middle world the best. These between one of these two, I like these the best. And then this one. This is my second favorite because of the colors. Favorite colors orange. But that one's though too. You gotta give it up for that one. But anyways, thank you for watching this sketchbook tour. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching this sketchbook tour. Um, I'll be back with more info on the art show that is in May. Um, and I'm sure you'll see me working on some of the pieces, um, you know, leading up until then. But be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing. Love.